I can just see the motherboard and I can told you that this point over here is connected to this one. Okay, this one is connected to this one. Let's check. We're gonna put one probe here of the multimeter and another probe here. We are continuing the multimeter. Okay, also connected to this one. Also connected to this one. Also connected to this one. Here. Connected to this one. Here. Okay, connected to this one. Here. Connected to this one. Here. Etc. So, how can I now using, as you can see, the code? The code of this PCB boards is mastering these traces and paths. I can, for example, go from here and track the signals here and goes from this point to this point over here and then track the signals also here and then for example goes from this point to another point here and then track the signal over here and then for example goes from this point to another point here and then track the signals without the schematic do you get me guys point please tell me in the comment below Hi everyone, so this is another video where I'm going to teach you how to track voltages and how to follow the paths in the motherboard because I noticed that many of my followers ask me a lot about track voltage, voltage tracking techniques okay so in this video this is basically a very important video where you can understand all tips and tricks about how to track voltages into motherboard okay so let's get started but first guys please don't forget to share and like the video because your likes and engagement motivate me to create more and more videos for you so before diving into details make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one and for anyone who want to join me in my patreon page i can be your mentor via whatsapp and assist you until you fix your hardware or computer problems so let's get started so basically one of the most important techniques as an electronician or a technician is to know how to track voltages okay if you don't know how to track voltages in the motherboard you cannot fix the motherboard of course you can fix the motherboard but it will take a time and energy okay but if you want how to track voltages and you know how to use this part okay because this part are very important if you know how to use it you can fix the motherboard quickly okay sometimes without using the multimeter i'll show you how for example let's take an example over here Okay, so let's take for example this example. Okay, so as you can see here, we have here a diode. Okay, so this diode, the cathode of this diode is connected to this fuse. Okay, is connected to this fuse. And as you can see here, we have the part over here means here we have connection. Okay, and also we have another part between the fuse and this resistor. Okay. So basically this resistor we have here zero means this is a fuse resistor its resistance is zero okay so let's check these two parts let's check between this point to this point to this point we should get a continuity and since this resistor is a zero ohm resistor also we should find a continuity with this resistor Okay, so if I put one probe here and the other probe here, I should get a buzzer in the multimeter. Okay, so if I didn't get a buzzer, means what? Means we have problem with this resistor. So let's check for example. So first of all, let's put this, the multimeter, to the buzzer option, as you can see, to the buzzer option. Now here we have the buzzer option. 
okay we're gonna also use the ohm to test this resistor but first let's choose the best option okay so let's check as you can see the best option is seated correctly so if i check between this point here and this point over here do you see we have a continuity okay so i check so i check between this point and this point over here okay so how you can now whether this point as you can see here the cathode of this diode is connected to this resistor if you don't know how to follow and trace these paths so let's assume that we didn't get a continuity between this point and this point means what means this resistor that is here on the on the path is cut okay is failed we should replace it so let's check this resistors here we have zero above this resistors let's check it in the using on option here we have on option let's select 200 okay let's select 200 so i will explain to you these scales if you want for example to check a 10 ohm or 100 ohm resistor you should use 200 but if you want for example to check a 400 ohm resistor you should not use 200 you should go to 2k or 2000 ohm always you should select the, the higher value in the multimeter for example let's assume that we want to to check a resistor with 22 kilo ohm we should not choose this one we should choose this one if we want to check another resistor with 3 mega ohm we should choose the higher always the higher value in the multimeter the same also for voltage the same also also for all options here in the multimeter okay so right now let's check this resistors here we have the first resistor we should find a zero ohm do you see we find 3.7 okay it's okay let's check this one also do you see four ohm so this one also four ohm okay so 4 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 5 ohm is the same, no problem. Okay, so I will teach you this point. So, what is exactly this point means? So, we have check this path, we have checked this path as you can see. So, the cathode of this diode is connected to the terminal of this fuse and then connected to this resistor. And then pass through this resistor and then connected here and connected to this point and also connected to this point this point means if we go here to the back of the board we gonna find that the signal goes from this point to the back here as you can see to the back here as you can see of the motherboard we have this point okay the same for this one for example all these are points if we go for this one for example this one here this one means exactly means exactly this point over here okay, means this one so if i put one probe here for example let's check if i put one probe here in this point and goes here as you can see so let's select the, the, the continuous option okay and goes here as you can see we have a continuity in the multimeter and since we have this part also here we're gonna get a continuity in the multimeter okay so you know right now how to check a voltage so let's see another example for example do you see here this thin wire so this thin wire means a signal it could be 1.2 volt it could be 2 volt but as you can see here this big path as you can see this big path or color means the ground this is basically the ground 
So let's see this for example. So so this part, as you can see here, as you can see, this one is connected to this one, and this one is connected to this one. Why? Because we have here the trace, the path. So let's check using the multimeter. So this is a very important tips and tricks that you gonna use in a daily basis in your troubleshooting. So this point here, as you can see, this point, okay, should be connected to this one, as you can see. And this one also should be connected to this one. Why? Because I follow the path in the circle. Okay, the same, always the same. Here we have example, a clear example. This point is connected with this point. And this point is connected with this point. Now, this is a very simple, okay? So I give you right now a very simple examples. But if you understand these simple examples, you can track these traces. I can, for example, go from here and track the signals here and goes from this point to this point over here and then track the signals also here and then for example goes from this point to another point here and then track the signal over here and then for example goes from this point to another point here and then track the signals without the schematic do you get me guys please i want to your comment below if you get this Point, please tell me in the comment below as I told you so this is a very simple this is a basic here we have basic this point is connected to this one because we have the part here and this point is connected to this one because also this part we have here the signal also these two this one connected to this one and this one connected to this one since we have the part here but as advanced course i will teach you in the next videos very advanced voltage tracking where for example you can track and follow signals like this for example you can follow this one okay follow this one until this point and then goes from this point to another point over here okay for example and then track the signals for example and then goes from this point to another point over here and then track the signals for example and then goes from one point here to another point over here and then track the signal here for example track the signal and in this point for example here and then goes also here and track the signal etc without using the schematic okay so this is a very important tips and tricks for example let's take for example another example I can just see the motherboard and I can told you that this point over here is connected to this one. Okay, this one is connected to this one. Let's check. We're gonna put one probe here of the multimeter and another probe here. One probe here of the multimeter. Let's see the multimeter. Okay, one probe here and the other probe here. We have continue with the multimeter, okay? And also this point, as you can see, is connected to this one, here. Do you see? Also connected to this one. Also connected to this one. Also connected to this one, here, here. Connected to this one here. Okay, connected to this one here. Connected to this one here. Etc. So how can I now using as you can see the code? The code of this PCB boards is is mastering path mastering these traces and paths. Why this one connected to this one? Because we have the same path. Do you see the same path? Here we have the ground. The same path. So any pin that exists in this path means this one is connected to this one in the same path. But this one is not connected to this one as you can see. Okay? And also is not connected to this one. So do you get me? 
so and uh, as I told you before, when we find, for example, for this, as you can as you can, as you can see, for example, for this pin, here we have this pin connected, and here we have point. Means the connection is in the back side of the motherboard. But for those, for example, for this one, for example, here this one is connected to this one, and this one is connected to this one. Okay, but when you find points like this, means the signal goes to the back side of the motherboard, to this side of the motherboard. Okay, guys. So this is this is it for this video. I I hope so do, that you understand a little bit about motherboard traces, and I'm sure that if you understand how to use traces and paths, you can repair any failed motherboard you have even if you don't have the show the, the schematic even if you don't have the schematic here we have the schematic this is the schematic okay so you can I can you can also draw the schematic so when you know how to follow as you can see how to follow these traces you can even draw the schematic of any board you have okay so thank you very much and please don't forget to share the video, like the video and for anyone, anyone who wants to join me in my Patreon page, you are very welcome. So see you in the next video.